Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Um, okay, I don't know about anyone else, but wearing headphones and listening to that sound was not comfy, so I apologize. The heavy thunderstorm sounds with relaxing rain was not relaxing at all. It, I don't know what it sounded like. It was like, oh, I wanted to take off my headphones. Did not like it. But today, as you can see, we brought a friend with us, an emotional support friend because my my little dog can't come up here because last episode was very intense so this is sam the three toad sloth <laughs> uh she's gonna hang out with us while we play episode three um also yeah so we're wearing the same overalls as yesterday because they are the comfiest thing in the world not gonna lie so comfy um, yes, I've worn them three days in a row, but like two of those days, I didn't leave my house. And I mean, did they really get that dirty if all I did was sit? I've been writing a lot lately, so it <laughs> seems like I've been sitting at my desk so much. Just typing, just sitting here. <sighs> I won't actually type on my keyboard, but I love my mechanical keyboard. I mean, that's why I got it was for typing, and so... I don't know where I was going with this. Oh yeah, the overalls. All I do is sit all day. It's not like I'm doing working out in them or going to the grocery store or anything like that. I mean, I did wear them to church on Saturday, but like again, all I do is play piano. I didn't roll in the mud or anything. So we'll be wearing them again. <laughs> also, this is the first time I've worn this sweater. It's like this cropped V-neck sweater. I don't know, I got it for like $3, I think. Uh, a thrift store and I'm not gonna complain about it even though it's like 90 degrees outside but enough chit chat let's get into <sighs> life is strange I'm not ready last time it was intense it was very intense there'll be the recap obviously so I won't have to um, explain everything that happened <sighs> Very fictional, not Ted's worst percent or depicting actual things. Yes. <sighs> I still don't have a game control. Episode three, right? In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We call film little pieces of time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so sick is. of people trying to control me! Hi, friends. Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record <laughs> video. You're going to be sorry someday. We love Kate. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out! So much stress happened. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <sighs> what are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. Oh, Warren! I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Oh my gosh. We're only on episode three! And that's how much stuff happened. Also, hello, Kenny. Hello, Dally. Nice to see you all. <laughs> I didn't want to talk during our flashback because so much happened. But I agree, there's so much. 
And I hope y'all are doing well. <laughs> we are immensely prepared for this game. I have a little squish with me, Sam, the three toed sloth. Because, <sighs> you know, we don't know what's going to happen. Yes, Tally, you missed a lot. But now you're all cut up, so we should be good to go. I have no idea what's going to happen next. And I'm really, really nervous for this. <laughs> Some guys, you guys are here to experience this. Is that our room? Yeah. That's not. That is us. We'd be sleeping. <clears throat> ready? Are we ready? <gasps> Stop. We adopted Kate's bunny. Kate! Oh. We adopted her bunny though. Oh, my heart. I have something to show you, Mimi, from campus. Get that ass in gear now. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. But the bunny. Oh, it's so small. Hold up. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. Same girl. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. See, Lisa? At least I kept you alive. Lisa. Guess I'm better with plants than people. <gasps> Hey, Bunny, don't be too bummed, but from now on, I'm your new mommy. We're gonna feed that bum bun. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Well, somebody had to take the bum bun. Should we turn on? Does the bunny want to be in sleep? I don't know. We're just looking over There's been again. so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. It's making me really And all nervous. roads are leading to my tornado vision. I got the chills right now. Okay. Ah, oh, we haven't cleaned. No this way up yet. can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. I don't think there's anything new to look at. Tor yeah, there's a tornado's coming. Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. God. Too much sadness right now. Yeah, apparently by the end of the week, there's supposed to be a tornado that wipes out the whole town. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be. And we're trying to stop it. Oh. Whose room is this? Is this? The Victoria. <laughs> This is Kate's. So much hypocrite. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, maybe. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. Yeah, we are trying to stop the tornado, but I think we're actually causing it to happen. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth. And somebody pays for this. At least that's what I think. I'm not 100% sure. That's just what I've deemed is that we're trying to this stop This is my it. prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. We love you, Kate. You're my favorite. You're my favorite. Still worried to Amber. Please, is there anyone? Is that Juliet? Taylor. <laughs> hey, Max. I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. Comfort, Taylor. We're not gonna I can. Her. I just wish I could have stopped her. Are you okay? I'm just, like, numb. I, I've never seen anybody actually die. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. Rude. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. 
Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Don't say a word, where'd she go? I wonder where she went. But I feel like I know where she went, so we won't say I won't a say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. Making friends. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person, too. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Wait. I, like, really do need to get some sleep, Max. Oh, we can rewind so we can... I feel like I know where she went, though, didn't she? Oh, I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Yeah, so Taylor is one of Victoria's... Oh, Victoria isn't here. People? Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Are we gonna go through her room? I think she's with... That guy. Hang on a second. How do we... <sighs> we have so many things to read. <laughs> we have 38. Uh, who she's with? Who's the guy we don't like? Nathan. I think Victoria's with Nathan right now. Oh, what? Oh, what we... I'm so lazy. I don't want to read all of this. Like, look at all this. We have to meet up with Chloe. Uh, bah, 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 bah. That's when we went to... That's from... Oh, that's from like two times ago. The cameras, we found out that in Chloe's house, her stepdad has put cameras over and he's watching them. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Honestly, she even got me to shake my booty just a bit. You go, girl. Dude came in angry about the music. I was there. We took the blame for the drugs. We saw the deer. We had to rewind a lot because Chloe got shot. Or, Yeah, Chloe got shot herself. Then Chloe got stuck on the train tracks. And then the guy came and he took our gun. We had the dream about the tornado again. Uh, October 8th, different person. The relations, Victoria, ba 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 Lots of weird stuff. It snowed. <coughs> it snowed. Yeah, it snowed. Um, we reconnected with Chloe. We're just summarizing. <laughs> drugs. Always drugs. Yeah. Can't get out. I was listening to Victoria and Taylor rag on about the Kate video. Came back to my room for something creepy. Yes. Nathan messed up our stuff. Weird gallery in a way. Better start being more careful around here. <laughs> I almost want my own surveillance system. Things weren't dramatic enough. Got a creepy texts from Nathan. Yeah, Nathan sent us a text. Nathan Dad's sent us a text. Um, we gave Kate her book, though, and saw her little bunny. More sad. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. And Kate is the opposite of emo goth. She was just crying in the dark, and it was so sad to see her like that. More sad is that I wished I could take a photo. A picture of her framed in her expressionist misery? Uh, No. Kate admitted that she thinks more happened to her than just a video. Plus, she told me that Nathan Prescott gave her a ride from the party to the ER. She thinks he did something to her, but doesn't remember what. It's hard not to believe Kate, considering what kind of person she is, what kind of person Nathan is. I've seen for myself exactly what the fucker is capable of. Of course, Kate asked if she could go to the police and the principal. Ah! I feel like absolute shit, but I told Kate she shouldn't do... Ah! I don't want to relive this. Go to anybody until she has more proof she was drugged, which I still stand by. The video doesn't help her case. Ugh, frickin' Prescott Empire. Not just one rich boy on dope. She wasn't too thrilled by my answer. I don't think she trusts me to be the one investigating all this. Can I blame her? I sometimes wonder what I'm actually doing besides getting myself in more trouble. Kate even booed me out of room saying, hello, everyday hero. I ran into Warren, or rather Warren was waiting to run into me. Uh, tell him about what was going on with Mason. Unless he knows the better. Wait, what? He would want to marry me immediately just so he could save his own human time machine or capture me for scientific experiences. Make me go to the drive-in with him. Oh, wait, I did say I would go to the drive-in with him. Hope he doesn't make a lame move on me. <laughs> yeah, we did agree. Hey, Annalise. We're just summarizing what happened. Uh, the bus, Chloe saw Nathan taking, talking to David. I hope you're having a good day also, Annalise. Uh, maybe this. Uh, la, 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 la. 
to Whale's Diner, the pirate ship. We went to the graveyard. <laughs> Devil weed. Uh, so much drama. I finished my breakfast. We run. We showed Chloe. Kate was so happy I uh, answered. I actually felt worse for her. <laughs> Just when I thought she could get crazier, Chloe took me to her serial. Okay, that's where we shot, where she accidentally shot herself. Frank took the gun. Chloe got stuck on the train tracks. That's what that happened. <sighs> what is this? So probably the best idea to lay down on the track. Yes. That's when we got stuck. It was awesome. Chloe might have to lower expectations. Ugh! Stop! Don't even! Uh, David Madison stopped to talk to me without to being a total prick. I thought he was going to... Yeah, he was actually pretty chill to us. Uh, Mr. Jefferson ended up practically running away from me. Yeah, Kate and Jefferson talked. She cried and ran away, left the building. He took a phone call. Uh, Kate treats Jefferson like he's an apostle or something. This one's feeling good about Chloe and me. I walk into Jefferson's class, see Nathan, a Victoria actress, sitting on my desk. Unreal asshole bookends. This is, yep, Kate Marsh killed herself. Hands are still shaking, but I have to write down, write this down while I can, right at the start of Jefferson's class, getting into the roof, girls don't to jump. Okay. Yep, we failed. I tried. Kate still died. All right. <laughs> Uh, slow motion, it's a total feat. Jeez, I can't believe we're writing these words. Stop. Actually, she jumps this weird. Felt so numb. <gasps> we're just gonna fast forward to that. Stepped out of the dorm, I saw Kate. Ah! No! Wait, what was that? I'm nobody. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. It's not enough that Kate. Oh, okay. Like, literally, since the last episode, I've just been replaying that scene and how I should have clicked on the Matthew verse, not the Proverbs verse. So, like. Do not need this. Do not need to be reminded. Because literally for the past like few days, this is all I can think about. Okay. <sighs> I was doing them flipping a quick rewind. Yes, because our rewind prayers broke and we couldn't fix her. We blamed Nathan for his bullshittery. Vacation for my life. Told Warren that something ominous is happening in Blackwell. The eclipse happened. What is happening? Okay. We're caught up. <laughs> that, that was just the speed run. Uh, this is both sad and pathetic. Uh, oh, we already read that. We read that last time. Is this Dana? This is Dana. Dana looks so sad. Even though she's trying not to show it. Hey, Dana. How are you she doing? Cool, right, Dana? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. We're all responsible. Blame Victoria. She was depressed. We're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. The only one. You were nice. It doesn't matter. You were nice. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex we Club. We're gonna fight them. Don't worry. Dana there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Not sure yet. It's complicated. I'm not sure yet. We're not 100% sure. I'm not sure, sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? We are. Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Dana's cool. Can we just, like, creep on her? Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Oh, oh, okay. So nothing is different from the last time. What? What is that? Oh, yes, the, the Vortex, Vortex Club, Club does indeed suck. Okay. Looks like you still- You got a grody table, girl. Hey, look at your stuff. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. That's the Halloween stuff. Who's this? Juliet? Juliet, never forget Kate. Oh. 
Why you don't pick up my calls? Who? <laughs> These people. Stella. Miss you, Kate. Um, who's this? My prayers for you, Kate. Whose room is this? Were we gonna go snoop in Victoria's room? Isn't that what she just said? Because Victoria's gone. Even though we knew that. Oh, that must probably be Taylor's room down there. Yeah. Just break in, like, oh okay. yeah. Oh, I like her lights, though. Like this little setup? That's cool. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. I mean, if she wasn't so rude... Whoa, I had no cool. idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. She's a rich baby. Snoop. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. We love it. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. There's Taylor. Is Nathan is gone. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. How can you tell she's high? From a picture. Huh. Can we look at anything there? <clears throat> We're such a creeper. Oh my gosh. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Did she really just say that? That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. $30. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Oh, in the dark, figuring. Why'd you take it out of the box, though? Mm, we'll use her computer. Why not? Well, well. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. Hey, sweet tea. What up? Oh, it's from Victoria Taylor. I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after seeing someone jump to their death? I can't believe we all saw it happen live. It was like watching a reality show, and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like, everybody's hiding or crying. I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate B. I'm sorry to you, Victoria. I can't stop seeing Kate fall. I need a drink stat. Let me know the time. This is like a thread for sociopaths. <laughs> Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. Nathan to Victoria. The tween mo bitch Max Cockfield got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? Yes, we did. I'm proud. I am proud of that. My dad owns the fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down. And the end of the world party is fucking on you and cheers, Prescott. Victoria. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? This, that is bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble. And yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell. No matter what. I'll message you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there. What are these biddies? Oh, man. <clears throat> What's that? First Rachel oh. and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Radio to the floor. Can we look at anything else? Ooh. Oh, was that just leave? Is that it? What about the camera she's got? Oh, search the backpack? A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Nor in day expressionist photography by Victoria Chase. She got an A. Re well researched essay with a unique point of view. Well, that wasn't very helpful. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Well, yeah, we don't. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, <sighs> I'm getting paranoid. Is there anything? 
more posters. Revenge Kate Marsh Brooke. I was like, whose room? At least they signed it so we know who is and who. Okay. We have to go meet Chloe, so we have to leave. The noises. <laughs> like, they're just like regular noises and like a dorm, but they're so freaking in. Is there another? Oh no. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. So pissed. Hey, look at the bench. What? What about this? Oh, we're gonna have a little contemplate. Thing contemplate like. What the hell am I doing out here? Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. This campus looks like a cemetery. All right, that's enough seating. Our little squirrel friend's still over here though. Squirrel! Okay, we will go. Doesn't look like there's really anything. Oh. Something to show you meet me from campus. Get that ass in gear now, Max. Do we have other, wait. Oh my gosh, Warren. Hey Max. Don't want to bother you, just checking to see how you are. I know today was hard, but you did more than anybody else could have to have Kate. I'm proud of you, and please, no worries about going to the drive-in. But if you want to escape to a plane of apes, let's go. And if you need to talk, I'm always here. Thanks, Warren. I'm still processing. Nathan got suspended at least. I'll call you later, Kate. Yes, Warren, our baby boy. Love. Keep you smart. I was shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey, horror. <laughs> These will be exterminated. Watch out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> who just like... Ugh. I know who. Oh. We already read that. Christopher uh, Wells. Oh, are you serious? Bless my I'm toast oh, if he sees oh, me. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Hold up! <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop! Lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Are we just creep. Max the ninja strikes again. I didn't mean to rewind there. I just panic. I <laughs> too much Fortnite. I was like, oh, control the crouch. No, control the rewind. Oh. Okay, this is actually really creepy. But like about as, as better lit than my college campus was. Oh, yeah. oh God bless my soul, Chloe. Get it? This girl. Oh yeah. This like girl. A scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive <sighs> asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. That's really scary. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm, I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. Same girl. Same All because girl. my power didn't work. It didn't mean <clears throat> shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players and find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Don't joke, I hope so. Chaos? Don't joke. Please don't joke about this, Chloe. Not right now. Max, I'm not laughing at you. My old counselor told me that my sarcasm was a way of avoidance. That's why he's my ex-counselor. Chloe, 
I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? About Kate, about Rachel. About Kate. Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around <clears throat> Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Of course, not just them. We'll say not, not just, just them. Because yep. also, I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. They were both in the class I don't as know well. Her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's alive, kicking it dead? Alive. alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Bye, Louise. We have to. Thanks for popping. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. <sighs> Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys oh. to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Did the lights Lead just... The way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. Turn off in the building. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert or was that drone just here. It looks like one of the classroom lights was on and it turned off, maybe? Thank yes. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry oh. I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I, thought she I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. <sighs> Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? So, it doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. Mark! And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. <gasps> you already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you That's picked creepy. my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be... Cringe! Fun, Cringe. don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest oh you go back to your gosh. dorm now. Wait! I only... Oh, this video! She's creepy, too! Everyone's so creepy! Oh no, it's creepier. Teachers making moves on students, or students making moves on teachers. It's so stupid. I thought I honestly thought she went. I think Victoria can't get any more to evil. Nathan's. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Yeah, I want to go and investigate Mr. Jefferson's class since that's the one thing that they all had in common. Mainly, Chloe, the keymaster. You know it. I don't know. I could be wrong. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. <coughs> Joking. I'm serious. <laughs> We're not kids like anymore. This? We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office oh, first. Stress. You can rewind if we get caught, right? Ugh. You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Mm. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. But I don't want to go to the principal's office. 
I want to go to the classroom. Oh, that was a tingle tingle in my ear. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. It's a hunting hat. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. How to feed your inner spirit animal. Those kind of look like those binders that they showed. I mean, okay, binders are genetic, generic, never mind. Can we water this plant too? That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. We don't want to go He's in. hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why I hope just like cut. flashlight in the eyes. Okay, so we gotta look around. Oh, nothing here. I hate those binders. I worked at a preschool and we used those and I'm like, ah, <laughs> not a fan. Dead end. We're searching the Boring. I've got set four drawers and she only looks Crap. on the second one. <laughs> only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Oh. <clears throat> Here throat> are the keys. <sighs> None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Warren? We call you Warren? Hey Warren, you busy? <sighs> yeah. Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Oh. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Did you see the jealousy in that look from Chloe? She's like, sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Sugar, soda can, duct tape, I'm sodium. I'm gonna put it together. Horror. Can you stay Horror. here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay. Hold up. Uh, sugar, soda can, duct tape, sunny in. All right. Here's what you'll do. You would try bow to your wisdom. Any questions? No, of course. Just back to his chlorine. Dark side. Everybody knows that. You're really going to try this. Keywords try. Why is it frozen? Okay. Well, <clears throat> time to go Warren digging. Warren is such a classic nerd. Trash. Let's see if I can find those items. Search in that trash can. What do you know? Trash. But, oh, you're looking for a soda can. Unless they have recycling. Are we gonna just use one? Release the crack can. It's all mine anyway. We have a soda can. Oh, I had three more them. items to go. Um, what is it? Hold up. Oh, Mom. It was good to hear your voice. Remember that we, what we talked about? You were there for your friend when nobody else, when she had nobody else, and Kate made her own choice. Nobody could expect 
more than what you did. You are here. We love you so much, Maxine. Call us anytime if you need to talk or visit. Okay. <coughs> well, let's go. Wait. This way, I'm assuming. So just pure sugar in the vending machine. Oh, this is so good. I do not like this. Do not like. I think this is the science room? Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Time to start looking at everything. There's sugar. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Hmm. Sugar. Ooh, sugar. Um, You're halfway home, Max. Gosh. You still there? Did you blow up, Max? Still here, didn't blow up. Not yet. I need to concentrate. Oh well. <clears throat> Duct tape and sodium chloride. Max takes shitty selfies. I never said they were great, troll. <clears throat> and there's a little sticker below it. <gasps> a Everybody's fish? asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. We're taking a picture. Good evening, fish fish. fish. Oh! <gasps> Are they little neon tetras? It looks like they're neon tetras. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Uh, we'll turn. Please resume your slumber. <clears throat> I doubt they just leave like random chemicals out and about. Ooh. Chemistry stuff. <laughs> You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. <clears throat> but this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. It's probably gonna spill. We're gonna have to rewind. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. <laughs> Use the damn chair. <laughs> we a little dumb sometimes, okay? Wish she caught it though. Okay. Now. Only one more ingredient left. Duct tape. There has to be duct tape. More graffiti. Warren equals. <laughs> Duck tape. Duck tape. Graffiti. Um, can I like look in the desk? Why would one find duct tape in school? <laughs> A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. Oh. Ass biology. Ugh, <laughs> gross. My gosh, Max. Okay, so there's no duct tape in, tape in this room. We can't go in there. Are we gonna go to Mr. Jefferson's room? This is it. This is the room I really wanted to look in. <clears throat> this is like a scene in a horror film. This whole school looks like a horror movie. I mean, it kind of is. <clears throat> Why? I got you can never tickle. escape the lighthouse here. <clears throat> oh, a tickle tickle. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. That's what we're looking. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Oh, that's really creepy outside, too. 
If something, I would like literally jumped against the window, I think I'd actually pee my pants right now. I'll take. <laughs> like, the it should not be mine. this scary. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Don't we have to, like. Uh, we're. Oh, we've got so many things to do. Oh. Oh. She was so sweet. Where? Where's Warren? Because <clears throat> don't we have to try and make do this now? Sugar. Oh, we have to go to the principal's office and do that. Not in the science lab. Are we literally just going to like blow the door open? Are we making like a little bomb? Because from the illustrations, that's what it looked like. Oh. Oh, Kate, your locker looks so lonely. I mean, all the lockers look lonely. What? Oh. Bully free zone. My dog is snoring so loud. He's making it less intense. <laughs> Do you hear this snoring in the background? Yep, we made Take it. Easy we on got the door, a bomb. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! <laughs> if you'll light the candle. Sounds like this me. This is so cool! Get ready to haul oh ass. Gosh. That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Can we quickly look? We need to disable. How we need to go faster. Oh. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Oh, man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna <laughs> pilfer the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel. If you quit or talking, Kate, we will. Nathan? Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay, Biddy. Let's start looking. Wow, sir. This will so not come in handy. Did you blow the lock on a bomber? Oh, please. I just want to see if you need your explosive and see your incredible artwork. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Like, how do people get stuff done? Like, since we've been here, talk about stress. Like, goodness gracious. How does anyone get school This pretty done? much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. 
Student information sheet, Kate Beverly Marsh, GPA 3.9. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBA 7 News. In her diverse religious studies group, has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells. As the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional and physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my sub suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Wrenchy. <clears throat> Update. At present time, there's a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring... Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Only two more files to go. We'll turn this off. Oh, do we leave it on? Because <laughs> we can't see over here. I certainly can't use this. Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Student information sheet, Nathan Joshua Prescott. GPA 3.7, brief summary. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record in a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. That picture though. <laughs> Student information sheet, Maxine Clawfield. What, we don't have a middle name? GPA 2.8. Brief summary, Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates, uh, and she acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Student information sheet, Victoria Marabeth Chase. GPA 3.9, a brief summary. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA in extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. <laughs> uh, Warren Graham, 4.0. A brief summary, Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift, of course, of gab depending on the faculty. Some, of some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. We love Warren! Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nap. This should be hanging in a thrift store. We're still gonna search. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Rachel Dawn Amber. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending classes for the past month and she's left no contact with student or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present Unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership. 
that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse, her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There's no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. This is Lieutenant Chris Rosie. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Thanks for all your help. Oh. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. <laughs> Chloe Elizabeth Price, GPA 1.7. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the f faculty and its <laughs> words and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully bel bel <laughs> belligerent. Thank you to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is, is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institu institution. Why are words so hard today? Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. <laughs> I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Yes. So Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large con contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be re rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to an the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Fight him. So we're going to turn off this light. Because for some reason, I feel like if we leave it on, something like, like this has. This will that change is the so future. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best Principal Wells. Yeah, yeah. Because they were going to, like, put them up in, like, the dorms and stuff, weren't they? <clears throat> well, it's a bronze hawk. You're not so tacky up close. Solid. Okay. Let's speak to that girl. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. <laughs> Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. 
No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Don't do it. Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Leave the money, steal the money. We're gonna leave it. Mm-mm. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past months despite repeated warnings and leniency due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Hoida's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th. Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day. Without a proper write-up for his files, Nathan has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Please see the attached files for the full report. Expunged record. Dear Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're certain this must be a mistake, otherwise we fear that we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged dis dis <laughs> disciplinary warning report. Oh my gosh. Uh, instant report. The following is a list of report incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psych psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class, cursing as English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school custodian, attempted theft of campus Tabanga statue. This. Wow. Maybe we sh Never mind. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a friend for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Huh. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few uh. minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. Why? We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. No! Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Gonna get caught. Or are we done already? Oh, we're just breaking in. Just leave the doors open. No one will see you. We're in the otter's lair. 
big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Go Otters. <laughs> so she has to go Otters. Can we leave? I don't like this. I... I'm fearing. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Anything else look at? Oh. I hope the otters will survive. I can't wait. Inform yourself and share. Become an eco volunteer today. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat pics. Reward. Desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class and my tablet has private pics of my late cat's rip. So I'll pay a cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info now, please. Hmm. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Lost goggles. I admit I'm a goofball misplaced my flexi wave swim goggles. It found eternal gratitude in a 25 Bean dollar bean hip cafe gift card contact Ray Siren. Huh. Boys or girls? Do, do we know anyone on the swim team? Who are the girls? Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Also, I feel like the girls' locker room is going to be cleaner than the guys. <laughs> Dally agrees. Girls. <laughs> Appreciated. Appreciated, Dally. Oh, there's a jacket in there, though? Oh. Look how, like, clean and nice. Time to be, you know. Oh, we're going to investigate the sock. Where does that other sock go? Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. So there was a jacket, but... Oh, <gasps> Victoria's a swimmer? Really? So Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Wait. Hang on. Is... He's not a swimmer, though, is he? Oh, this this doesn't talk. Never mind. That's not what we wanted. I didn't know Victoria was on the swim team. Hmm. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. A boy's locker room for anything is a lot of just... <laughs> uh, yeah. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Trust me, I played basketball in high school. The boys' basketball locker room? Compared to the girls? Ticket? Was she no going way. to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Wait, who's bus whose locker was this? Oh, it doesn't say. Someone was going to run away. Otters eat beavers. The wit. It burns. Yeah. Boys like to go to me. No hate, though. Well, not too much. Brooke's locker? Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Oh! We gotta set Warren up on a little date. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Girls can swim, too. A big locker. I mean, I. Victoria Chase for this. I just go to a. This isn't basketball. a desperate cry for attention or anything. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Because we are. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Oof. We actually. Oh, the tiles are broken. This feels like a horror movie. So we're not ready to go to the Sorry, Rachel. 
Oh. Oh, is that? Oh, there's something else. Rachel finds. Getting jump scared by the sound. A miracle to save Kate would have been nice. What's it say? Dear Kate, I don't care, God. Oh my gosh. Why does everyone hate on Kate? I hope so, friend. Like, why did everyone hate Kate so much? Unless we find out that, like, she wasn't sweet and innocent. But still, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't be hating. Oxygen kit. We're ready. Chloe drowned. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. We're still going to the boys' locker room, though. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. It's so cute. We're, we like Coffee to and swimming. Good combo. Look at everything. Yes, we get it. Otters. <sighs> I just don't want to miss something, you know what I mean? Don't even think I'm going to make a move on you. Oh, that is pretty. That shot with it, like, you can't see when I point. Reflecting on the wall of, like, the water texture. Look at the whiteboard. <laughs> so, the big plan is win. Seems like a solid one to me. Can we creep into the boys' locker room? We got shoes on, so it's not like that girl. She just, what? She, oh, there's a close, she was fully closed the second ago, and then we turned her on a bag. I he's ever drowned here. I hope. Time to do or dive, Max. Hang on. Ooh, I, uh, who, who leaves their soap on the floor? To bang right bros will be bros. I uh, expected it. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Ooh. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. What is this? Tina needs a baby daddy. Oh my gosh! Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides oh, herself. Oh my, I said Victoria loves the deep. No, I, hate I bet you do. I heart Warren Brand. We love Warren! <laughs> we know who wrote this. Welcome to 1950. Max is a feminazi. We got a text about that. Let's. Let's snoop. No worries, it's all bad. That's what Sometimes. it feels like, you know? This, this whole game, Logan? Is this Logan Slocker? I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you. Love, Logan. Wow. Jacket. Ooh, we can look at the jacket. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. An e-cigarette. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Nathan's locker. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Diazepam. And I don't know what that says. Interesting. Warren's locker. Oh, I guess everyone has a locker. And like Betty developed that in it. Jefferson's class. But why? Because he likes you. He likes you, Max. I didn't put two and two together like the locker's room was, you know, okay. No Not way am I sports. touching Zach's jersey. I was confused for a second. Oh? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Hey, I'm thinking bad things about you. Cool, what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot, what are you wearing? I'm in locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this must be for training kids. What are these text messages? Who are these people? 
Why are they so cringy? A sex me up. Oh my gosh. Boys locker room is right. What is up? <laughs> I'm dead. This was a trip coming in here. All right. I think Chloe. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. All right. You know what? We looked in the boys' locker room and the girls' locker room. But let's talk to Chloe. Oh, yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. I feel like there's a song that should be playing. Cowabunga! Oh, she's got a cute bra, though, not too nice. It's pink. Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun, 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> oh. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. <laughs> Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thanks to what if I had though? Thank God. But what if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. We want Chloe Absolutely. To feel that. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. <laughs> Warren is nice. Gross. You're the bro killer. Warren is nice. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're going to make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Wait. Now I'm getting cold in here. If Chloe dies. Because we're yapping instead of attacking Oops. each other. Otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my I full experience concerned. for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You didn't get caught. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. We have to go now! Are you shitting me? My heart.
Please don't tell. Dude, hide like when we were kids. I could don't use my make power, me choose. or just look for a hiding spot. Girl, why are you so slow? Can we Where hide in they? this? Hello. <gasps> Hello? Anybody there? We can't move, really. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Oh, I do not like this. I do not like this. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. You're so invisible. <gasps> the stress. Wasn't even that hard, but still the stress. I feel like we're gonna run into more trouble out here. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Get in. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> town under cure fuel is it just I think it was just students right so because Chloe's not a student so technically how much trouble would she get into I mean probably a lot by her stepdad you know Oh, Grody went to bed all chlorine. No blankets on? <sighs> Could never sleep without blankets. <gasps> oh, Always we remember this selfie. moment. Can we take a selfie with Chloe, not just of our face? Okay. Photo bomb! Yeah! Photo hog. She's like pretending to sleep. I'm dead. <laughs> it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. 
So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town, you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. Mm -hmm. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off, I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. We just vibing. Vibing with our bud. Alright, enough vibing. Get up. <laughs> okay, I need to get dressed now. We're just gonna steal her clothes. What? I don't think I'll be washing today. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Warren has to say. Oh, oh. Glad to see you didn't blow up black hole last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Oh! We're going with one. I hope. I feel like we're I could have miss hid in the ball. closet, and then David wouldn't be on my case. Okay, listen. When we opened the door, crap fell out, and I panicked. <laughs> wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. There was so much panic in that one thing, like, it just didn't work. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. <laughs> yes. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. That's Chloe? She looks completely different, like not just the hair. I guess her eyes are still the same. I don't know. I guess the hair changes a lot. Uh, da, 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 da. Boobs. <laughs> Sorry. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Cause she cares. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Ew. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Why not? See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. What's this? I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Chloe money now. I don't have your money yet. It's my last message. I'll get it now, you fucking whore. Ooh. Ooh, let's look at her. Chloe doesn't seem too upset she didn't take that money from the handicapped fund. I mean, it's I a handicapped this morning fund. light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. Did you have a boyfriend? Boys are trouble. Boys are trouble. As Blackwell proves, boys are trouble. Awesome! And way fucking gross, as you'll discover soon enough. Oh, okay, woman They're of the fine. world. Please tell me what it's like to get that first magic kiss. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to get you all worked up. I just don't think anybody is good enough for you. Besides me. Uh oh. I feel like Chloe. Okay, My time for some Chloe vocals. cosplay. Let's just. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your Nothing size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl <laughs> come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? 
I double dare you. Kiss me now. Kiss Chloe. Do it. I should be. Damn. <laughs> You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. <laughs> You're such a dork. That was so intense. Max just it was like, whoo! Swooping. Oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't <laughs> think I would. We're not rewinding. I stand by that choice. She was so aggressive, though. Swooping in for that kiss. Oh! Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Okay, let's go see Joyce. Joyce is so chill. She's so sweet. Oh my amazing. god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Gosh. The bird is still living in their house? No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. It's still chilling and they haven't, like, tried to get it out? Feels so good to wash my face after all that what? chlorine. And hiding. I am confusion. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Could you imagine if we could like dye our hair right now? Are we just gonna use a random toothbrush? Do it. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. That's so gross. Don't use toothbrushes. That's grody. That's actually really gross. Ugh. <laughs> Take an edgy photo with the bird in the background. We cool now. Oh, also we got a. Unknown text. Can hold. <sighs> Miss Clawfield, I wanted to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. You showed the true grace and bravery when you went up to that roof with her. You must know you did all that was possible and that Kate's life was never in your hands or even hers at that point. Kate has left us for another world, but she'll always be with us. But I know she wants you to have a long, dynamic, blessed life. Family will forever include you in our prayers. Peace and joy, Richard Marsh. Oh! I went into that thinking it was going to be Nathan's dad again. Oh, and then it was actually really sweet. I already looked at that. Are we going to go back in the room? That's creepy. I better not go in there. David might be oh, in I bed. Didn't think about that. Ew. I didn't think about that. I still can't believe there's just a bird chilling. Oh, is she just humming? We've already looked at all this stuff. Yeah. That's a really cool picture. It's Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Oh, uh, I mean, so Max. so loud. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed it last time. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. Oh? I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Can eggs do? Eggs and milk? No problem. Will do. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. But are eggs and milk not in the refrigerator? Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Oh, oh, she just went to the store. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Is there milk in there? Where is the milk? Doctor again? Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Oh, it's on the table. Who doesn't put the milk away? Now for the mother's milk. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. The independent flash snow and freak eclipse apocalypse soon, soon leaps to public death of Blackwell County. Ugh. 
Who drinks beer this early around here? I don't want to point fingers. I was going to say David, but I don't want to assume, you know. Joyce might like a little Thanks. Specific. <laughs> After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. But she hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is Rachel okay? Rachel in trouble. Was Rachel mad at Chloe? Mm. Is Rachel mad at Chloe? Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. No way. Maybe. We're a little jealous. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Pancakes. So excited. I love pancakes. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Oh, number one dad mug. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Oh, no, no. Good, you can clean. We already looked at the newspaper. Didn't we? Kate's life was sure yeah. worth a nice exploitive headline. <gasps> we'll look at them first. Now that's what I call pancakes. Eat those bam bams. I, I don't know why I'm so excited for just her eating pancakes, but like, we're living through her. Also, why is Joyce so loud? Like, we walked into the scene with Joyce and it was like, holy moly. We finally looked at everything. Yeah. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Seeing oh. you again. Oh. Oh, so oh made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make mm -hmm. David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Hi, strange motions. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, 
No one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Yeah, I really I do like, like to get the game into David's so computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. It's a lot, though. It is a lot, a lot, a lot. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. Can I look at anything else, though? Have you played the game? I'm assuming you have. Strange motions, but it's. Episode two was really hard. With like Kate and everything. Oh, it was so oh, hard. Oh shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? <clears throat> Try again. I need more clues. Yeah, I get that. Love the games. But Ooh, Life Strange 2. I also have that one. So after that, I or after this, I wanna play Life is Strange 2. Really bad. Cause Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. Chloe, I'm so happy you were born today. Thanks for bringing me into the family. Love, stepdad. Oh. Greetings from Arcadia Bay. But there's just so much to look at. Nothing to see like, here. <laughs> I love how immersive it is. And just different than anything else I've played before. Looks like David has read this a lot. Coming back home, I'm back What did he learn? Sky. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Video message from mom and dad, 07, 2007. We're still gonna just look at everything. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Uh, I can't read that. Honk, just married. If you're not going to play before the storm, then I recommend at least playing Captain Spirit before the second one. It's free and it's part of the story. Oh, I do. Okay, maybe I'll do life or before the storm next then. Because I know that's like the prequel to this one, right? I don't know. Choice I want to play all the games wrote, at some point. Because they're so cool. Uh, I can't read it. It was an honor having you in the diner. Nice to know the gentleman still exists. Love to talk again with you soon. By the way, the name is Joyce, if you forget. Oh. That might be a useful password. To Whale's Diner Receipt, 112708, egg sausage. Your circuit Joyce. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We gotta get now this the through this first. ready to roll. <laughs> this is a better hobby for David than surveillance. It's taken me a lot to get through this. <laughs> Ooh, he's got Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. To my field angel, keep your wings up. Huh. Current, correct, before the storm is set, before this game. It's more about Chloe, doesn't really have anything to do with the second one. Okay. Oh, did we get a text? No. What's that? <gasps> that was a follow! Thank you! <laughs> Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Sorry, like, That's cute. Noise. Could be a password here. <laughs> to a real life hero. 607 survey company. There's so many things that could be a password. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, should we start trying passwords? Oh my gosh, this freaking trophy thing creeps me out. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. <sighs> Dallas Deer Hunter, single shot award 2001. We'll see what we get up to next though. Like I said, we're only episode three. We could take in our sweet time with this game. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. There's so many. Too many numbers. Nothing in it. Creepy TV. I really tell last time. Okay, should we try? Army. Keep your wings up? Nope. Personal. 7171. Magic 8 Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally <laughs> froze the laptop. <laughs> Time to back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay. 
personal. No, 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 no. It's going to be, it's going to be with Joyce. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel Amber profile. Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Or Katie Bay police report. Case number 678. Anderson Berry reporting officer. Incident report. Rachel Amber, 18, was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Miss Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. See attached page for full details. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Um, also, um, we weren't able to save Kate. Kate committed suicide. It was very, I laugh now. That's the reason we have, um, the little sloth friend. Just checking out your profile. And you're pretty new at streaming. I am very new at streaming. <laughs> oh, you're a Leo too. Leo gang, Leo gang, Leo gang. Here for it. I'm really enjoying it. I've met some really cool people so far this month. So, I mean, it's been like a month, I guess, since I started. I streamed, my first stream was on Easter. So, yeah. Having fun. Meeting lots of people. Having a great time. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for asking. Do you stream as well? Just, just as curious. <laughs> Always looking to meet new people very sociable but we'll read this real fast you know gotta stay with it kate m follows same path to every class overheard kate and dana talking about supplies for vortex club party drugs watch kate with her church group she knows her bible kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students drugs <laughs> drugs saw kate helping jefferson after class doesn't trust grown men with goatees <laughs> oh don't trust grown men with goatees Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club Party. Not even church. Drugs? Bruh, you need to calm down about the drugs. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. Oh, you do, but haven't in a while. I'll have to check it out, man. I'm ready. I hate how he just immediately thinks drugs with Kate. This I is love so Kate, wrong. okay? Oh, oh. Creepy bastard. That looks like a mugshot of us. Max Clawfield profile. Max online aliases, Mad Max, Max Factor, Nor Angel. Student, yada, yada, class. He has our class schedule. That's creepy. I better tell Chloe about this now. Can we? Uh, it's just one. Like, log out? Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely <laughs> hooked up with Frank. I know, that's what Why it feels like. Why does David care? I think, yeah, we were looked at everything. Ooh. Hi, Weeks. We gotta talk to Chloe. Oh, Taylor. Hey, Max. Hope you're okay. Just wanted to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mom. I cared about Kate when nobody else did. Thanks, Taylor. I know you care too. Not enough to save her, but I'm here anytime if you need to chat. It means a lot to me. Talk soon, XO. We're trying to make as many friends as we can. We're even nice to Victoria, even though we want to punch her in the face. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks <laughs> broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <laughs> Why do we look so guilty, Max? <sighs> Figured so, you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Uh -oh. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening We're about students. To throw down he in the threatens kitchen. them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. 
Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Oh, no. Uh, uh, I feel like he's not the bad guy, though. <sighs> Hi, George. This is my cat, George. You can barely see him. He's chilling. Uh, side with Chloe. Okay. But he did say, uh, uh. Choices, choices. I know. <sighs> okay. I really, for some reason, want to side with David. But then I know Chloe's going to be pissed at us. But, like, I don't think. Okay. Hang on a second. We got to, like, talk it out. <laughs> got to reason a little bit. I just. Uh, we're gonna start with Chloe. You're a bully, David. Like I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. Yeah. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Go off. You were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? <laughs> what? Is this true? <laughs> yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find down. this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Hey, George. not from you punks. Maybe you George, should calm you... down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Joyce, yes. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, punch him in the face. You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You oh. can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into Whoa. David. Whoa. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Oh, uh, I don't like this. Sorry. But like, he is creepy. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Okay, Joyce sides with us, so we're fine. I don't feel as bad now. Joyce agrees with us. Okay, but like... Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. You know what? I am confident with my decision. Ah, uh, you know what? He's probably gonna come after us. Something's, Listen, go something's gonna when happen. When I went through David's laptop, it's fine. I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? Mm. What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. I don't like this idea. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. Is that Frank? Yeah, it is. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. George just hair We have to be that. casual ninjas here. <laughs> Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby do? snack to distract his mangy mutt. What's your plan? Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. 
Uh. Huh. Ouch. George. Hey, we wrote that. Deja vu. There's dust on the dust now. Okay. Hey, is that the same guy? The fisherman guy? Oh, wow. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? A tornado? I hope not climate change. Climate change? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? Oh. He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Hmm. What? Should we go back? Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't it? Fish. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. I agree. He has a creepy face. He looks like... <clears throat> so I was playing The Walking Dead, the Telltale series, and they all they all had the creepy Good faces. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Uh, uh, we, we could cause havoc on this poor guy. Like, he's just eating it, and we could be like... You have serious <laughs> balls, little girl. Ooh. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking <laughs> creep me out. <laughs> we are in other words, Max, no keys. You Maybe love Maybe I could away. chat up that oh. officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. I agree. Clementine <laughs> hits different. We're you just gonna... eat like a pig. Try no! Okay, that was really rude. Those beans. Are you fucking insane? He's I was eating those beans! <laughs> <laughs> What? Don't laugh! Why are we so... Good lord! Max! Come with the badge! Like, we're so rude! I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! Good lord! Okay. Okay. I don't remember how to make it root other reels. Okay, we're gonna like George, you are on the keyboard making it Okay. Have we not talked to him yet? Uh wait. Let's go back again. Oh uh ba 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 um Let's Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Max is fearless now. She has powers. I know! She just walks up like actual murder could happen. And she's like, hey, do you want to fight? That doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change okay. is a partial cause for the unseasonal uh, weather. That doesn't explain around. everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. 
I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Weird Town. Next. Kate Marsh, Dave and Matt. Kate. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. Awful. Nathan. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him mm. that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Ooh. Awesome, my other cat's here, Tiny. We have George and Tiny. Let's go back and stay with David Madsen. George on the first Right? How you doing, Maxine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, what? Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff it's way wise. more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad. Weird time. David Madsen? I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. Mm. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. You can use this key information with either Frank or Agent Barry. What can I do for you, Max? Frank? Oh, Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working say, for we the Prescott say... family on the side. Does Frank Jesus, have a gun? doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. <gasps> Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. We're going should we try to talk to Frank again? This girl. That is a power movie. Like, hey. You have seen. David is after the gun. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Oh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Chloe's dead. Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. I am... Confusion! There's... Oh, Nathan's here?! Since you're new to streaming, I don't know if you know, but you can highlight your VODs and save them on first. So they stay on your channel because they delete after all. Good to know! I didn't know that. I'll do that. Thank you. Also, oh, he's got, whoa. I feel like Nathan's on a different level. Rachel, uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look, Max Amber, nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. We'll punch you in the face. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over I'm there. I'm ready to throw down with this kid. Advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Kate Marsh, drugs for sale, your father. Kate Marsh? We're just asking about Kate. I bet you hoped you know? that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? I think you already Do you? us. Calm down, dude. We're in a diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Good lord! This. <laughs> Nathan. Told you on keyboard again. We're slowly going. Okay. Rachel. Uh, whatever. Most people don't fuck. know that. So uh, weird. I appreciate oh, that. Oh, look. Lot. Max Amber. Nice outfit. Okay, we're gonna skip ahead. Your 
father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Does he have Spoiler scratches alert. on his cheek? He's an asshole. Maybe I can help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Wait. Oh, we don't have a closer. He doesn't Holy want to talk to him. shit! What do you want oh. now? Drugs for sale. Cop information. I heard your on dad hired it looks a like local he has cop scratches to keep on an eye out on you and Frank Bowers, like a babysitter. Oh, when she ran his clothing. Okay. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And Dang, these kids know, know better than a narc that. on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually, he will. Guys into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Oh. I guess I didn't. Yeah, I guess I don't remember that. I just remember, like, he punched Warren. Or, like, Warren. Warren came in for a fight. George! <laughs> no cats on the counter. We're good. Okay. Let's see. Holy shit. <clears throat> okay. Blood oath. I don't care Weren't about the drug. you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Oh, blood oath? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. I'm just gonna be more and more confused right now. Holy shit. Can we. <laughs> I bet so Frank confusing. hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Should we go talk to the cop about that? Uh. What can I do for you, Max? Rachel and Frank. This Nathan is a lot of he said, said she Rachel said. Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs. Good. Kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Detective Max on the case. Oh, we're trying. I'm feeling more and more confused. Okay. Can we talk what to him the about fuck the, now? The, the dog? Save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. So. We're gonna spill the food on him. He's gonna fall down. We're gonna like grab the pig. keys and boom. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> Don't laugh. Grab the keys. <sighs> Did that not work? No. Okay. That. Ah, Max. Max. Hunt the hunt. Uh. Can we try and just take them? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. Is 
that you did not just do that. Stop. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Okay. Okay. <gasps> He brought. Now back to Chloe. Okay, that was stressful. Why was that so? Like, okay, the plate method should have worked. She could have spilled it. Hey, that's Alyssa. Can we talk to Alyssa? Are you shitting me? Oh. Poor Alyssa. She had bad luck. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Can we go back to help Alyssa? Or wrong? Alyssa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. We... I know it has an effect. We didn't save her last time, though. No, we did with the football. I know, she has the worst luck in the world. She, I should have known. Like the amazing Spider Max. Oh, don't I couldn't have done it without Brain. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw. <gasps> throw towards the road. Throw in the parking lot. If this dog gets hit, I'm gonna die. Tree, tree, boy. I'm gonna die. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Oh, I swear. Get it. Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. <laughs> the doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Like, we already lost Kate. We can't commit murder to dogs. Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. <laughs> Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. No, I was not going to throw it in the road. I was just reading oh, the options. We could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. I'm not Can you that see awful. us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. Get to looking. I know. Just daydreaming. I love animals too much. I could never... You scope the I area doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. You ever heard of the fans? The Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Hey, don't hate. Do you know what it's like to not have a dishwasher? It sucks. I don't Good have to know a dishwasher. Frank has a knife lying around. Beanie gang. Yeah, Chloe's in the beanie gang. This. How can somebody live like this? Why don't you put it like up on a sink? Ooh, graffiti. We love some Crappy graffiti. Wife out here. It must take him days to download a porn. Yeah. Too bad I don't have my <gasps> Frank Bowers decoder ring. Interesting. Prescription pile? Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? <laughs> I just used to watch. They can wait. They always can wait, you know? It's the gun. That's a pretty extreme Oh, that's a lighter. lighter. Not a gun. I don't know what guns look like I know I have some dishes in my sink and I'm like eh. is Frank going to deal online now web business I could pry this vent open with the right tool torch it whoa what the hell is he doing with that dog <sighs> stop it I don't want to know no more secrets That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. He loves his dog. I swear, like, animals? Ooh. Okay, I love animals this vent is too loose. Much. I need something to pry it open. And like, we can't, ooh. like the little bunny with Kate, literally when she's died, ooh, we're like, the Frank's bunny! Stash. Who's gonna take care of the bunny? We did, we're taking care of the bunny. I just, oh, no harm. I cannot believe babes. you would wear a collar and a furry mask. You are dumb. Nice rig. 
Work Glad going, Frank Chloe. treats something here with respect. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Uh, is there anything else? Uh... Frank must have a reason to keep a police raider on your by. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. Oh. <laughs> Can't Lots quite picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. I, I oh, think the doggy sorry. likes his bone more. Uh, oh. We're such oh. Presto, gun. Chloe's gun. We're so nosy. Should I give it back to her? Give the gun to Chloe, leave the gun. Okay, I feel like if we leave the gun, then he could shoot us later. If we get the gun to Chloe, David could find out she has it and get mad. We're gonna get the gun to Chloe, because I want to risk him coming after us with a gun. I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. Yeah. Pompadou? <laughs> For real? Pompadou? That's a poodle's name. I love that. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Okay, we were supposed to find something the knife. This is that almost as good as a set a of keys. Like, holy crap. Who uses that to cut pizza? <laughs> like... Curses. Nothing here. Tom, to back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. <laughs> My blade will open any portal. Ooh. What is this? Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, I hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you and poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart. All right. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Hmm. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you, uh, so maybe we need to break our routine. XO Rachel A. She's also a Leo. What do I think of Rachel? Uh, I think Rachel's a lot like Chloe. I got, she, you know, she vibes like Chloe does. <laughs> Leo gang, represent. Did we look in this one? I think we did. No prize here. Um, I don't. I don't really have a strong opinion about her. Like Chloe, obviously cared about her a lot, but Rachel also liked Frank. I'm assuming, maybe they hung out. Like maybe they just hooked up. But I feel like Rachel also may have liked Chloe. Maybe not in the same way. I don't know. I loved Kate, okay? Kate is my favorite. <laughs> I'm like, Rachel, psh, Kate. That's who I want to find out about, Kate. No. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, Rachel is probably dead. You know, I just, I feel like she's not alive. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? 
Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? Uh. My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! No! My gosh, my heart literally stopped. I thought they were going to hit the dog. Good Lord. Kate, let's go to the cotton socks. Yes. Team Kate. All Chloe, the way. you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything <laughs> wrong in your life. Just it's assume so the worst fair. is going to happen. You gotta blame somebody. Because apparently Otherwise it does. it's all my fault. Fuck that. Grow up nobody's fault. Rachel and Frank. Rachel and Frank. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig Frank. Bitch lied to my face, Max. I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Chloe Price. You better take that back. It's all like right where now. This is going. Okay, fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? William or David? Oh, it's probably William because he died. You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Oh. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I no. blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You're still here, I can tell. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, Good with me. I know. And that is no accident. You're right. Mm. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Where are we going? I feel for Chloe. I know. That is hitting hard. I'm a very empathetic person, and so, like, ooh. It's pulling on my heartstrings. We're trying not to get too attached, though. We got emotionally attached to Kate when we got hurt. Hi, Tiny. Don't you rip that photo. Oh my god. What is happening now? No. I don't want to go back to that moment. No thank you, no thank you, no thank you. What the heck?
I'm doing it. <laughs> Were they just like, you're really bad at this. Here, here, let's let's help you. We were really bad at that. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. They're such babies. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give good. me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is Hint, here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that That's far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crepes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how it, many It eggs? takes time. Mom said it depends. That's true. I know I've seen that. those pictures before. For a second. <laughs> it looked like Kate. Kate's on the mind, you know. Oh. She loved so, how him. many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. I love right. William like, like he was in my family. own family. I won't I let him die awesome. today. But we have to. I won't. I'll let her know that. We can't Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time, unless I change it. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. We already changed time. <gasps> no. Answer that phone, baby. No. Stop! Oh, Hello? My heart. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What a mess we made. What? I remember those cool drawings I did with you know Chloe. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Uh, Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the save mart. We can't. She don't have many bags his of keys. delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. Isn't, You'll be grateful for that someday. Wasn't it like a little key jar? Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys. Oh yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. We. We can't stop him from leaving though. Like. It doesn't work like that. Uh, I know they never took that oh, vacation. Oh, they found them. Ah, you can't hide from me for- Back it up, back it up, back it up. Careful, Max. William can oh. totally <laughs> see you. <laughs> um. Work for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Score. Oh. This is not a good idea, though. Hide keys in the flower pot? Shit, where are those keys? That's Another a cool snow dough. There's always dough. You're bankrupting me! Can we draw on this? We're just gonna hold on to the keys. Oh. Max, this is not the best time for a prank. We should keys, hit them. please. Uh, I was just, um, I are you sure back. Joyce is ready? Uh, let's just, let's just wait. I, um, sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. I, it Don't blow it, though. because tonight your mother promised to make us a world it's famous literally... salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Well, freaking frick. <laughs> Shit, where are those keys? Them, like... Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I was just going to draw on the thing. 
he's gonna find like I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? Like it's unavoidable. No, <laughs> Don't tell me that there's a reality where he lives though. You can't tell me about that. Oh, oh, oh! That was a bad choice. Sorry, you're probably like, what the heck? Shit, okay. where are those keys? Crap. I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. Bankrupting me. <laughs> this is awful. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and Joyce and groceries and... And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. The her little Max's voice sounds like Peridot from Sea Max, Universe. you are being so fucking strange. <clears throat> you feel I just okay? Had to say that. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. This is bad. It's so good. Watch Steven Universe. Watch it. Cry like a child. There's also movies. There's like five seasons of it. And two movies, I think. It's so good. Did we really just do this? Is this, is this real life? Like, do we actually change our entire reality right now, though? Tiny, I know, you're so sweet. Ouch! I don't like this. In this reality, is Kate alive, though? What? Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? No. All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. Oh. I know. Sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, Do you want to go hit the girls' California potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Who's Courtney? Like, whatever, bitch. We don't know what Courtney. We have. We got white hair. He hooked up with Stella? Not Brooke? Oh, it was supposed to be Stella. I am confusing. Oh but no. Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Oh. No, is this going to be the end of the episode? Is this going to be the end of the episode? Please. No. My reaction. Okay. <laughs> I am a theater major. Theater is my job. The reactions. They're natural, but they're just over the top because that's. I'm an over the top person. But I'm pissed. This is going to be the end of this episode, isn't it? It was Courtney, right? It was the who? Courtney who? 
I know there's no music. I apologize. I turned it off because I didn't know how like the copyright thing works. Is that Brooke? Is this the tornado day? Stop. What is that? <gasps> Are those whales? Oh my gosh. Oh. Hi, Tang. I know it's awkward with no sound. I apologize. I just rather be safe than sorry. Now there's like no sound though. Like I'm sure there's some sounds, right? Do they not live there anymore? Hi. I feel like this isn't gonna be their house. They probably, because they wanted to travel. Oh man. There's not even sounds for an occupant. Max Caulfield. Taking a oh, break after taking there. Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of. I know she's been dying to see you. This Hold on. too sweet, though. Chloe! Also my heart. You have a visitor. <gasps> was Chloe in a car accident? She was. Oh, Chloe. She's got the same little happy face, though. Max, girl, you can't mess with, with big things. It's not how the universe works. <coughs> oh, 52%, you left the money. 78% kiss Chloe. Dang straight we were kissing Chloe. We'll get to my thoughts in a minute. 78% uh, sided with Chloe. 95% kept Frank's dog from harm. Yeah! What the 5% hurt Frank's dog? Psychopaths. 66% Chloe has David's gun. Who's Lisa? Wait. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Was Lisa the plant? Lisa is alive. 40% to 40%. Lisa is alive. Lisa was her plant, right? Of course you had to kiss Chloe. What else would you do? 72% didn't help Warren with his exam. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. At <laughs> least the plan. Thanks. <laughs> 41%. You are not on the Vortex Club party list. We could have... We missed a lot, apparently. 79%. You didn't change the Vortex Club party list. Race names from the... Where was that? Oh, it was the table. We didn't even look at it. 62% yeah, you didn't erase the cop's message. 63% uh, helped Alyssa. 66% didn't warn the homeless woman. What? We didn't even... Oh my gosh, we didn't even... We talked to her in the episode before. What were we warned her about, though? What happened to the homeless woman? What? Fifty-two percent took a photo in the past. Sixty-four percent didn't leave a mark on the fireplace. I tried to. Okay, the stress was too much. But what happened to the the homeless woman? We'll see in later episodes. Ugh, we talked to her. But then, I didn't even think about it. It didn't even cross my mind. Oh, we saw booty. <laughs> How are we there, though, if we didn't get invited? Oh. 
Okay, we're gonna wait. We're gonna postpone it. <clears throat> Holy crap. Okay, it wasn't as intense as episode two was. Obviously, Kate, the whole, like, that was pretty intense by itself. But it was really good. Lots of information. Like, there's a lot. Tiny's playing with the mouse. We learned a lot about Nathan and Rachel. Not really about David. I guess we learned information about David. Or like out here ruining Joyce's second marriage. I mean, I don't. I don't think David is the bad guy though. I think he's not a good guy, but I definitely don't think he's like the baddie bad guy. Like, there's definitely something else that we haven't discovered happening. I don't think it's David. Nathan Prescott, I don't... He's just something else, okay. I guess I can move this to just the, the... Hang on. It's weird. It doesn't let me, like, toggle between. You can just see my face. Thank you. Like, Nathan's, like, his whole other thing. You don't want to comment your thoughts because of spoilers. I agree, Dally. Nathan is sus. Like... I, I don't know what Nathan's sus of, though. Like, okay, I don't think that he took Kate to the ER. But also, I think he might be... Okay, hang on. We have to... I don't think Nathan is the big baddie either. Like, I feel like there's, like, an overarching... Because we've seen bits and clips of this person with the files, with, like, Kate and with Rachel... And I think, did they have our file? I don't remember. I just remember them like closing Kate's and putting it up and having an X through her face. So there's someone else who's out there. I don't think it's the principal. It's not David. I mean, the only common factor between these is honestly Mr. Jefferson. But like we haven't seen, he hasn't had enough screen time. I don't want to like point any fingers directly. I know the big bad. There is a big bad, but like he hasn't given any me any reason for sus. But he's the common denominator between the three people. The three people between Rachel, Kate, and me. I mean Victoria's. I mean, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very curious. I want to like keep going, but we'll probably. Well, are you doing Tiny Dancer? God bless. She's clicking stuff on the cat. What is happening? I don't know what she just clicked. Hi. Okay. My cat's going psycho. Uh, yeah. We'll probably do episode four, maybe on Friday. Maybe on Friday. Cause I need time to process. What all is happening, you know? I don't know. I, like, there's so many theories going through my head. I don't want to speculate too much. Because I don't want spoilers, you know. But, or maybe we'll play it tomorrow. Should we play this again tomorrow? Should we play this tomorrow or should we wait until Friday? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't... Should we raid someone? There's so many questions in the world. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, that was that. That was episode three. Lots of stress. We didn't need our support sloth, which was good. <laughs> I needed it last episode, but... Alrighty. Who... Who is doing... Everyone's playing Among Us on, like, my followed list. Hmm. I don't know. We won't rate anyone. We're going to be lame today. Thank you all for stopping by and watching. Sorry, I'm just, like, rambling at this point. My brain is still, like, trying to figure out what's happening. And the cat's whacking me in the face with her tail. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for the solo. The solo? The follow? Strange motion. I appreciate it. And... 
Uh, so my schedule, I need to update it. We're tomorrow will be at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time instead of 4. So I don't know what we're streaming tomorrow. Maybe uh, Life is Strange, maybe uh, Fortnite, maybe Slime Rancher. I don't know, but we'll see you then. So thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a, have a great day <laughs> or evening or more. I don't know, whatever it is.